All right, now we're going to look at pose by pose animation. To get started, uh, make sure that you have a T pose set up for the character. In other words, right here I have a T pose. So, to get started with this, we're going to set a relaxed state for the character. And this is a great time to find errors or anything else for that matter. If you start moving these around and you feel that there's something that's moving that shouldn't, you should go on t or go to the previous video and fix those errors. There are some very common errors that happen all the time, and they're very easy to fix. It's just sometimes a student gets very frustrated. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of set a relaxed seat for this character. What I'm doing here is raising one hip up and raising one hip down, and then straightening back out that leg. So like this and like this. And what that'll allow me to do is take this leg and bend it. Okay, just going to lower that character down just a little bit. So I'll explain here. Well, when we are in our rest position, what happens is um, one hip is actually higher than the other because if you go standing up right now, and you'll notice that your one leg carries all the weight. Okay, no two legs carry all the weight at one time unless you're standing weird or you know at a podium or something like that. But in most cases, you're carrying your own weight on one leg. Then. Uh, this transverse is all the way up through the body. So essentially, uh, this starts to happen. Okay, So your spine tries to counteract this, and your shoulders will counteract it also. And you'll notice that the one shoulder is just a little bit higher than the other one. And this is where a chiropractor gets their money because they feel like, oh, you are totally off balance with the world and you must have uh, a spinal adjustment and everything else. The witchcraftery of chiropractic. Okay, so I'm just doing some finite adjustment here. And with a pose, you just have to kind of use your gut instinct on things until you get good at it, and then you'll be all right. But maybe to start out with, you can use magazines or, um, you know, models. I feel this is just a little bit too bent, so I'm going to realign him or her just a little bit. And check at all angles. I mean, if it looks good at all angles, that means it's a good pose. I, I hate it when uh, new students, like, they, they just adjust it at one angle. They're like... Yeah, this looks great right here. But really, when you go to rotate around the character, it looks pretty bad. I do mean that this is an art form in itself, just figuring out your poses. And with pose-by-pose -pose animation, the thing is, you can skip the whole rigging process. All right, I like this, and I'm going to hit A and just add it to my poses. Okay. 
There we go. So with that pose now active, I can now switch between the two. I can go back to my T pose or I can go to pose just like that. And if you're using the new Blender, it allows you to actually name your pose. Uh, for some odd reason, I think I loaded uh, the older variation, uh, 5 point or 6 something. But the newer variation at Blender.org will allow you to name that pose. So I'm going to probably reload this into my, my other variation of Blender. I'm just going to save as. Save it to 6. Close this out. Relaunch this. The latest version is 2.6. So you'll see that when I open this and go to this, I can now name that pose. So if you do not see that, please download the latest Blender. It changes like every day, so don't worry about it. All right, there we go. Now that we have a relaxed pose, uh, what we're going to do now is take some time to animate just a very simple animation and see how it works as far as that is concerned. So please meet me in the next video.